the neighborhood was, right? I want to know the toughest man on the planet is. That's what we're going to find out. This is one of those genres where it feels like every variation has been played in some form. <laughs> so when you're doing it, it really becomes about how you tell it. You really play it so that you're, you're equally invested. And that seems like an incredibly difficult thing to pull off. Yeah. Well, that's what I always said to the studio was that the hardest part of the film is going to be trying to break convention because we know the tropes and the architecture of these kind of films. Where, but usually you're, you, you know who you're rooting for when it starts. Yeah. And it kind of, the film washes over you and it unfolds in a way and then whatever happens, they usually win, they're the underdog, whatever happens. What I was trying to do that was hopefully breaking some kind of new ground architecturally in these movies is say, okay, you're invested in this person and you're invested in this person. And here we go. Slow collision course. Well, it ultimately plays the idea that just each person walking into that ring has a story, and each of them has a motivation that is valid for yeah. why they have to do this. Yeah. And, yeah. and I think you really you earn that that last uh, the tension of that last fight because I either way it went, I was okay, yeah. and either way I was going to be upset about something. What I was going for was the person who wins. He's, his win is his win. He's, he needs to win. The one who loses, his loss is his win. I, he I needs agree. to lose to win because if he won, that death march that he's on will continue. He needs to surrender. He needs to die at the hands of his brother. I don't want to get old, old Testament about this, but he needs to die to be reborn. But you play it in archetype, and that's the great thing about casting Nolte is Nolte is... Dude, you, you get such iconic weight with Nolte when you cast him. Because yeah. right away, he is one of those great screen tough guys. And I don't think anything hurts worse than watching a big man break. Yeah. So when you when you get Nick Nolte and you break him, <laughs> it carries a different weight. And that's it really it's it's pretty incredible. And I and for him, I would say one of his finest hours. Well, thank you. I'm really proud of him in the movie. We wrote the part for Nick. It was always intended for him to play Patty. And as long as Nick was willing to go to very deep, dark, emotional places yeah, and the does. demons were going to get unearthed, we're yeah. unearthing the demons, don't act this stuff. Access truth. And it was a very brave and courageous performance because he went to some places that I know were really painful for him, but I never wanted acting. Even the way you shoot the fights, and Hollywood is, has sort of codified the way we, we see boxing on film, yeah. and you really have stripped away almost all of the artificial drama of the sport, yeah. and it's very observational. You just capture the fights, and then the drama is between the people. Yeah. Um, and was that a conscious, like, aesthetic choice? Totally. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we worked out, I storyboarded everything. We had a very specific visual design to the movie, and what I loved was, you know, and, and this is what people really bumped up against in the beginning in the studio, and, people, you know, people, they couldn't figure out what, they weren't, they kept saying, something's bothering us, which I loved. But I was shooting through cage a cage. Yeah. In the beginning, the studio was really uncertain about how to, because it was not how they were used to watching stuff. But I loved that. And then I slowly got closer and closer. When I got to the two brothers, that's when it became more intimate. If you notice, sonically, everything starts to get pulled away. Yeah. Because the fight isn't about the $5 million anymore. The fight is about the, the, um, the five rounds become... Uh, a commun uh, two brothers communicating through violence and dealing with their and, past. And a father and looking healing. at what he built, looking exactly. at who exactly. he made them. Exactly. Well, and I, that's why I there's that moment with when Brendan after the fourth round when he looks at his father, yeah. and he says like I know I really didn't forgive you. That's what that look is, and it's the old man saying you got to do this, kiddo. For for our family to survive, you got to go kill your brother. Yeah.